I have dementia. Sometimes I forget my name. My body is tired. My brain is in pain. I try to remember, but mostly forget the names and the memories, the life that I led. You don't understand it. I know that you try. <sighs> you keep on repeating things. I just don't know why. <sighs> I don't mean to annoy you or make you feel bad. And if you get angry, please don't feel bad. I know that you're hurting and I'm hurting too. I get so confused and don't know what to do. And just when I think I know what's going on, my mind goes blank and I had it all wrong. I'm not in the present. I live in the past. I once was so strong. My life was so vast. I now feel so helpless, useless and weak. It's just your love and understanding I seek. Just treat me with respect and please do not fear. Let's enjoy our time together while I am still here. I have dementia. Sometimes I forget my name. My body is aching. My brain is in pain. It's me, Jeff, your brother. Get me okay. out of here. No, mate, come Get on. me out of here. I'm here That's now. Right. You'll no. be all right. I don't like come it. Come on, mate, you'll be fine. No. Hey, I brought no. you your favourite chocolates. I don't want chocolates. You know, the ones you like. No. I've shopped no. everywhere I for them. Like I'm here now. No. I'm here. Everything's going to be all right. To. You'll be I fine. Like come on. No. There we go. You'll be fine. You're back, Mr. Bella. How was your walk? Tried to run off again. Mr. Vella, you know that's not safe. Jim's at the bank for the pillowcase. And Charlie, where's Charlie? Charlie, 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 Happy birthday, dear. Listen, why don't you two take Granddad to the common room and let him get a bit of a rest and I'll chat to Nan, okay? <laughs> he seems all right for a moment and then he just isn't. Mrs. Vella, <laughs> I know this time can be really difficult for you. You just have to remember what your husband's doctor told you, okay? 
So Mr. Vela's condition can begin to, to deteriorate quite rapidly at this stage. You just have to continue to be there for your husband as you have been, okay? All right, come on. Come on, Farah. Your uncle's probably there by now and you know we'll never hear the end of it. Why do I have to come? Dad's supposed to take me to Courtney. Yeah, well, I didn't switch the days now, did I, okay? Now, the sooner we go visit, the sooner I can take you to Courtney's. And I'm sick and tired of your attitude. And by the way, get off your stupid phone. No. We made it. We made it. She's going to be okay. She's going to be all right. Okay? What if she hurt herself? Oh, you have to stop thinking this way. Just stop know, thinking this way. Just take a deep breath, okay? Dry away those eyes. You know how those tears set her off. I'll have a look around. There has to be somebody here somewhere, okay? Uh, excuse me. Um, We got a call earlier for uh, Mrs. Yang. She had a bit of an episode. Can you find out for us what's happening? Okay, sure. Let me check for you. Thank you. Thank right. you. Cheers. Your mother's back in her room again. She's been prescribed something to calm her down, but she needs to eat something first. You can go in and I'll bring it to you. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Mate. Cheers. Hello, Mr. Bella. Time for a rest now? Ready to lay down? Come on back. Come on. Ah! Ah! Come on. That's, ah. that's it. That's ah. it. Ah. That's it. My, your, my, your shirt. We're going to get some medication for you, all right? Ah! OK, we'll be back soon. Sorry, we're late. It's this one's fault. Wait, wasn't it Dad's fault? <laughs> Look, what do you say we go in now? Well, she's not here yet. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you're late, Karim. We should always come in together. We were late first. Yes, well, sometimes we always miss out on the things that we want to. Don't we, sweetheart? Look, I'm not going to wait any longer, and neither should you, OK? We all have things to do. I don't want to waste my time. If she wanted to be here, she'd be here on time. What, like us? Shut up, or you're not going to Courtney's. Now, come on, let's go to Miss Attitude.
What are you doing here? Dream. Clara. Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Mom. Hi, Grandpa. No. Did you mind? No. It hurts. It hurts. And Samia. <laughs> Your husband's here. Answer me. I did. Why won't you answer me? Answer me, you stupid woman. Dad, you know she, she doesn't. She won't get better. She won't get better? What do you mean she won't get better? Why am I paying all this money to this place? Show some respect to your husband. Answer me, woman. Answer me! Get out! You challenge me? You challenge me, you fucking little shit? Get out! Outside! Let him go. Sarah, I thought you were going to keep Dad on a shorter leash since you follow him everywhere. Yeah, because that tactic works so well for your husband. Do you feel important now going on these jobs with him? Does he finally respect the tough little girl that he never spoke to? You want to talk to me about a man's respect? What was that other woman's name? You're lucky you're pregnant. Ugh. What is wrong with you? Why would you do that to her? In her condition? Come on, Kareem. She just wants attention. It's always the fucking same. She's sick. You know she's sick. She's weak. Just like you. Don't you dare say that about her. But it's true. She's always been weak. So have you. She's raised a coward. This is about our shit, Dad. You leave her out of this. It's the same. It's the same. And it's why you're a coward. It's why you have no spine. No. You're not strong like me. No. You're weak. She raised a fucking cow. Taking things and hurting people doesn't mean you have guts. I figured that out eventually. You're a cow for not sticking by your family, respecting your wife and kids. Did you feel my honesty and respect then? Son? Did you? You piece of shit. Fuck. Mr. Abdullah, are you okay? No! I'm not okay. Dad. When can I go home? I want Mr. to Khan. go home. Mr. I want to go home. Mr. Khan, we're going to miss you if you leave. You can't leave us. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you're okay. You can have a look at your bird. Oh, here's our favourite couple. Hi, Sylvia. How are you? Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. Oh, that's good. Hi, Dad. Hi. It's been a bit hard. We're dealing with Dad in his condition, but we're doing the best we can right now. It is, I understand. It is very hard for all the families to deal with dementia really trying hard to be positive but it's so hard leaving him here and Arian doesn't see himself anymore either. I worry about him. Hi Peter, are you enjoying your day today? It's so beautiful out here. Okay, this is your family. Sylvia, yeah. has dad taken his meds today? Because I got a call early in the week saying that he wasn't swallowing them. No, yeah we had to dissolve them in water. Because uh, that's the only way he would be able to take him. Darling, it seems like the staff here are doing their best with Dad. I know, Amara, but never mind. Hi, Dad. How are you? This is your son. Hi, Dad. Do you remember me? It's Arian. Your son? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, Dad, that's a nice bird. It's okay, Dad. It's okay. This is a motto. It's all of
knew I'd find you here eventually. My second man of the day. Hey, babe. Look, I'm sorry. So you won't tell me where you've been? Not really, to be honest. Oh, God, Karim, you never want to talk to me about anything. Look, it's not your problem, okay? It's mine. Babe, I keep seeing you like this. I love you. You know that I'm here for you. Look, can we just forget about it? Oh my God, what happened to your lip? Who did that to you? My dad. Seriously? But I thought you didn't see him. Rarely. You visited my mum yesterday. Things got a bit heated. You visit your mum? What do you mean? Look, he's just a piece of shit, okay? Don't worry about it. Karim, how are we ever going to be together properly if you won't let me in? You never talk about them. Please, babe, open up to me. Fine. You're right. My mother's got dementia. Advanced stages. Oh, Karim, I'm sorry. It's fine. It's been a while now. Just not knowing how long she'll last like this. So I try and visit her every day, you know? The only one that does. Let her visit her? Only when it's organized by me. Not even your dad? Only when he's forced. Why? I guess he stopped seeing my mom as his wife a long time ago. You mean? My dad was never the parental type. Every lesson always had to be a hard one. Reinforced by his belt. You know, his way was the only way. Sounds like a tough way to grow up. Yeah, it was. But well, my sisters had it worse. How come? My mom gave him girls. He wanted boys, okay? But it could never have been his fault, could it? Seriously, in this day and age? You still don't get it. Just because they left the place and came here, that doesn't change anything. Their attitudes, the way of thinking, it doesn't change much. When my dad finally got a son, when he finally got me, he treated me like a prince, took me anywhere, gave me anything I wanted. But when he decided he didn't want to become that hard, honest working man anymore, well, he decided to take me to one of his jobs. I started pulling into his crowds. You mean? Yeah. Exactly. All the stuff we're always taught not to do was suddenly okay. And it was fun for a while. But I was losing control. Fast. That must kid. So how did you get out then? My mum. I finally saw what it was all doing to her. So I had to stop. I did stop. But I couldn't take it. So I had to leave. When I came back, look, I didn't know she was sick, okay? I didn't know. And I didn't know I would break her heart. So sorry, babe. That would have been all too much. Yeah. So how'd you find out if you'd left? My sister, Jemana. Older? The oldest. She's a pro at guilt trips. Why don't you talk to her about it? Or Sarah even? Babe, my sisters, they have their own issues from growing up. It would just make things worse. Then you need to talk to your mum. Tell her how you feel. Apologise. What's the point? 
She doesn't even know what's going on anymore. She wouldn't even know my name. She doesn't even know how to walk on her own feet. So what's the point? She's your mum, Karim. There's no one in this world like your mother. I just don't think she will understand. But she'll feel it, won't she? She's your mum. She'll feel what you're feeling and that'll be enough for her. And it might be enough for you too. Are you excited to see Grandpa Scarlett? Yes, I'm so excited. He's going to be so pleased to see you, darling. <clears throat> Morning, Maria. Hey, sweetie. Hey, how's that arm of yours? Much better, thank you. I made it to the comps. You did? Not even oh a broken arm kept her from dancing. Congratulations. Thank you. Should we go see Grandpa? Because he's yeah. going to be really excited to see his little princess. Come on. Scarlett, give Grandpa a cuddle. Hey, Grandpa. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. I wanted a yellow car. Grandpa is yellow. I wanted yellow. This is not yellow. Who are you? Dad. Dad, I miss you so much. If I knew you how much. My child. Who are you? What, no dad today? Why? Well, you've been joined by the hip with him recently, so I just assumed that you're going to pull off another stunt like you did yesterday. No, Jumana. Much like you and your husband, I don't know where dad is. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, shut up, Hiya. you. And I thought my dad was bad. Whatever, auntie. You two are as bad as each other. Uncle! Hey, a fire flower. Join. <laughs> Joanne, this is my niece Farah. Over there is her mother. That is my sister, Jomana. And right over here is my sister Sarah. And lastly, this is my beautiful mother, Tamia. Look, Mrs. Abdullah, it's your son. There. Go on. No, he's here, sweetheart. Here. I'll bring some medication now. Okay. Mum. Hey, Mum. Mum. I'm baby. Caddy. Mum. Hey, Mum. Mum. This is my girlfriend, Joanne. I'm so sorry for bringing her late to you. But I just want you to know that she means a lot to me. I have to finally meet you, Mr. Fula. You can hear me. I want you to know I'm going to take very good care of your son. It's very important to me too. Have you? Go on. What? My baby. Mum, I have something to tell you. Okay? I know I visit you every day, talk to you, but I've been holding something in. That is, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm late into saying it. I'm sorry I haven't been a good son to you. Or a good brother. I've been trying to be a good uncle. Especially a good partner. 
but I was young. I loved the life too much. I listened to the wrong people, as you know. And dad, it was too late before I realized that dad didn't care about my interests. It was too late for me to realize that dad did not care about any of us. I'm sorry, mom. I'm sorry I put you through all this pain. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that I put you through all this pain throughout all these years. What a nice show, Kerim. Timing it perfectly so we'd all be here witnessing you making a fool of yourself with all your tears. She can't understand what you're saying. Oh, a nice touch bringing Blondie over here to come meet your mother. I'd imagine she'd have a few words if she actually can speak. Oh, but you can't just say that. Family. Sorry, what? I brought Joanne here for my family. Not just mum. Well, if this is another lesson in semantics, well, I'm I'm sorry, Jomana. Sorry? Sorry for what? I'm sorry for the way Dad treated you both. Before I was born. I'm so sorry that he ignored you. Jomana. I love you, okay? I love you so much. You became a second mum to us. You saw people and you saw the bad and good within them. And for that, I respect you to the highest level. And Sarah? Actually, Karim, I didn't cop it as much. You probably don't remember, but I didn't talk back or argue like Jamana did, so. When you came along, I just got to fly under the radar and then, you know, blissfully run my own business. And blissfully ignored. Sarah, I was young, okay? But I was there. I was there and I know that dad ignored you. Jeez, Karim. Sarah, I'm sorry. But you know what happened between us? I was his favorite. But as soon as I said no to him, he just let me go like that. Imagine you didn't pull something through, something he wanted from you. What would have happened to you? Sarah, I love you. And so does mom. I know. Thanks. She used to slip me extra money for the canteen. <laughs> Too skinny, right? Yeah. But I saved all that money and bought my first makeup kit for my course. Mum looks beautiful as ever. She'd be proud of you. Doing something you love. It's amazing. Sarah, we love you. Okay? I just want you to know that. And you little fire flower. I swear, if you do not stop growing, I'm gonna have to trim you down to the knees. Love you, Uncle. <laughs> Babies. Pardon me, sweethearts, but it's time for your mum's morning tea. I'm sure she'd love it if you all came inside with her. Babies. 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 
I'm so proud of you, Graham. Your mum's such a beautiful lady and you're a great son. Don't worry about your dad. It doesn't matter. She heard you today. She really heard you. Thanks, Graham. Hi folks, I'm Andrew Vile playing Mr. Vella. I appreciate being in this important film and I dedicate the performance to my mother who succumbed to dementia in her late 90s after a highly academic life. Thank you. Hi, my name's Emma Campbell and I play Mr. Vella's granddaughter. And I love being in this film because I've had family and family friends that have suffered with dementia. And this is such a lovely tribute to those families that have suffered through that. Hi, my name is Helen Kim and I'm playing the role Lily Yang and I would like to dedicate this film to my grandma who's also living with dementia. Hey guys, my name is Brendan Chaw. I'm playing the role of Justin Yang and I'd like to thank Sonia and Billy for having me on board because I am dedicating this to my grandma. Just passed away three months ago from dementia and just want to dedicate this to her. I love you. Thank you for um inviting me to be a part of this film. Um, dementia has played an impact in my life, um, predominantly with my last surviving grandmother who has now recently passed away. Uh, towards the end of her life, dementia had really um, worsened in her and to a stage where um, I last saw her in 2013 um, in Malaysia when she was in a retirement village. And when we had visited her, she did not recognize who I was. And that made me really sad because I have some of the most fondest memories with my grandmother growing up when I was a small boy. Um, and, you know, throughout the conversation, she'd remember who I was, but then 20 minutes later would ask me again what my name was. That was really disheartening. Um, but the moment that really broke me was at the end of our meeting, we spent the whole day with her. It was time to say goodbye. And when it was time to say goodbye, I recall tears welling up in her eyes. And it was at that moment she recognized and remembered who I was. So we all felt really sad in that moment um, because we knew the impact that dementia had, had on our interaction on the whole day. Um, and that was my last time I saw her, uh, unfortunately. Hi. I'm I'm glad to be part of this project regarding dementia. Um, it seems to be all around us. M my mother's got um, dementia. A friend of mine's wife's got dementia. Um, my wife's uncle's wife had Alzheimer's and eventually died with it. And it wasn't a very pretty sight at all. So there's a message there and it's not inevitable. Uh, so. It's not uh, for everybody, but it is a 
it is out there and we need to be patient. We need to take time. We need to think if someone can't quite remember things and you just have to give them a bit more time. Hi, my name is Billy Ogudo. I'm the film creator and director of the short film uh, Heartbreaking Journey with Dementia. Uh, just want to thank all the cast and crew for being part of this film and its touches uh, close to home to me, um, which my beautiful and wonderful mum has been suffering dementia since 2012. Uh, it's a sad and emotional disease for people that are watching their families go through this. I urge everyone that if you have a friend or family that suffers from dementia to support them, be there for them, show them love, a lot of uh, love and care, and especially if it's your mum or your dad. Um, so I'm thanking everyone for being part of this and God bless you all. I hope you enjoy the film. Take care. Hi, my name is Sonia Kotami and I'm actually the producer and casting director for the film A Heartbreaking Journey with Dementia. When I was casting this film, little did I know the amount of people that were affected by this sad illness. Uh, it's an illness that touches many people and it's something that shouldn't be kept under cover. So uh, I urge you all, anyone that uh, has members that are suffering this disease to get behind them, support them, love them and just be there for be there for them. Um, Billy's mother, the director, suffers dementia and it's very close to home for, for much all. So God bless you all and thank you for everyone that contributed in this film. God bless.